In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a sort of painted watercolour effect. Now, of course, there's probably many ways of doing this, but this is one approach that you can you might find create some interesting designs. And I'm going to be using paths. So, say you've got a path like this, it's a cube design. So you want to create a sort of painted design from a cube. Now, what you can do, and I'm just going to get rid of that now because I don't want that, and just go over here to the custom shape tool, select path, and I'm going to use a cube, one of the cubes. These cubes are from graphic extras, so use a cube and just apply the design there. Now I'm going to actually add it to a layer. I'm just going to use white as well as the background because I want a nice white background. Now layer, a new layer, and I'm just going to go to filter and render and flame. Now it will come up with a little error. It always comes up. I wish they would, there would be an option to don't show that error, but it does. It doesn't particularly take long to render either. So um, right. there's the actual design. You can actually see the cube design there. I can see the actual structure there. Now, what you can do, use a custom color for flames. So I'm just going to use an orange there. Be using one flame. I'm using width. I have a fairly low value. I don't want it too great. So if you go too high, you actually end up with a sort of completely hardly seeing the image. So just about there. Go to the advanced. And I quite like the randomized shape. So you can actually just randomize that. So do that and keep the opacity down fairly low. Now, click OK. And you can see straight away that sort of oil paint like effect, sort of as if you brushed it on using a see all the bristles there. Now what you can do then is go to a layer, new layer, and I'm just going to keep the shape in the same place. But I'm just going to go to a nail, go back to the filter and a render, flame, OK again. Well, so I can't get rid of that unfortunately. So and I'm going to change the colour slightly. I'm just going to go for say a slightly red there. OK, and I'm going to use exactly the same as before, all the same settings. And of course I've got that over there. The randomise, so it actually randomises it for me as well. So it's not applied exactly in the same way each and every time. So click OK. And you've got the design there. Now a layer and new layer. Click OK. Now once you've actually got that, I'm, I'm, I could obviously continue this. I could do it about 5, 10, 15, 20 times, just adding more and more layers, different colours, just interweaving them a bit. Now what you can do, and I'm just going to again go for another filter and render. And flame, click OK, and I'm going to go for slightly darker this time. So I'll just go down there, just slightly darker there, and click OK. Right, so now once you've actually done that and you're you're happy with it, one thing you can't make, I'm just gonna just get rid of that. I could of course save it, but I'm just gonna delete it at this point. So you've got this design now. What you can do because it's on layers, so you can actually just quickly go to just gonna go over here to opacity. Just drag that down a bit. Don't want it so great. Maybe that one opacity. Set the opacity down there. And again, you could modify that. You don't if you don't want it. So it's sort of like a very watercolored version of. Now, of course, it's a layer, and you can do more things with that. So you can actually go over to like smudge tool and just apply obviously any brush and just basically apply the smudge to that layer. Just drag that around just to give it, or maybe blur it. You go to the blur tool and then modify it a bit. And you can tweak it, of course. You can then, once you're happy with the whole design, I'm just going to say at this point, that's pretty good. And then you can just obviously apply color effects, maybe modify the vibrance. Copy that a bit, click OK. And there you have it, a quick cube. And of course, it doesn't have to be a cube. It can, of course, be any custom shape. So you can use sort of obviously any custom shape, arrow designs, etc. And if you actually add it all before I actually flattened it, so you've got there, you can actually sort of put them all together, select them all, and then make that layer and smart object. You can turn it obviously into a smart object. You've got that design, which you can then, obviously you've got that cut because I created it on a small document, but you can go around and then add that to your library of, Sort of CC library and add it for future work. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.